I do have a disability, right? Yeah. My my disability is, right? I have a learning disability, but I can't read, right? I love bowling. Mm -hmm. And I love fishing. Oh yeah. Yeah. And I do go to my Bible study. You know. Yeah. I'm on fire for Jesus. You okay. Know. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm working with the young people. I'm studying to be a missionary. Oh. I'm on the track. Oh yeah. I'm doing go swimming, diving. We magazine. Uh -huh. go on, I, I, I like going on field trips. Uh -huh. I like um, going to McDonald's, hamburgers. I like going to have Kentucky Fried Chicken. Uh -huh. I'm going to Mount Sinai Hospital tomorrow and eat breakfast. Go, I'm going to take summer holidays in July. Uh, that's what the doctors uh, were saying to me. Do what? Uh, Send him to an institution, and my mom, my mom and dad said no. My mom and dad that uh, uh, well raised me, me, my brother, and my sister. Mm -hmm. I'm the oldest. Mm -hmm. No, I I live with my uh, girlfriend. Oh, that's nice. My girlfriend lives with me. How long have you been in this relationship? Uh. Well, uh, September will be 18 years. Wow, 18 years. Yeah. What What advice would you give to other people who are in relationships? What are some of the good? Uh, what are the good things <laughs> and the challenges? Dad, 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 I'm not going to touch with a 10 foot pole. <laughs> what makes me different is I'm a mom. You're a mom. That's a first great. time mom, actually. Uh huh. Um, but he's not with me at all the time. So I get to see him once in a while. Mm -hmm. um, bus it up there, go see him, spend the day. He comes to my house. Nice, nice. Dis he has a little disability too, but it just runs in the family, you know? Mm -hmm. But I still love him no matter what. It was scared at first. Yeah. Like, I was a first time mom. Like carrying it, it feels like special. Like you're carrying somebody in your stomach, but I did not like the throwing up part. I have my son that I take from daycare like every day and stuff. I have a son and a daughter. Okay. But my son is not in my custody. He's my baby mom. I'm living with my baby mother and her family. So my their, her father have custody of my son, but I get to see him every day. My sister lives in Allison. No, my daughter actually lives in Allison with her auntie. Mm -hmm. So I have to talk to her most time and stuff, you know. So. Okay, but they have different languages and or different uh, pa personalities or something like that. Mm -hmm. But they're okay with me. Like sometimes if I don't understand them, right? They speak different language, like uh, Puerto Rican, or you don't understand that because I don't. Because I'm Italian man. Because I have a lot of families that speak Italian. Mm -hmm. They speak Italian to me all the time. People come that, um, like they are young and they have kids that, um, like they're um, in their 20s or teens and they have kids already. But um, some people come and they're single. And some people come and they have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, but some people have, it's a girl and they have a girlfriend or if it's a, boy they have a boyfriend sometimes or sometimes someone doesn't want a boyfriend or girlfriend at all because they've been hurt or something. They I'm basically a 28 year old transgender woman living with a disability um, in Scarborough East End and um, yeah I do a lot of uh, outreach and supports along with my friends. Um, I support a lot of friends that are living with disabilities um, at the Griffin Center and other places I work and attend. Um, I also do a lot of outreach on um, educating people around LGBTQ awareness for people with disabilities and Down syndrome and intellectual disabilities. Um, what also makes me unique is that I'm a really awesome artist. I design my own costumes and perform for children and around the city of Toronto and 
um, express my disability in fashion ways. It makes me different. Yeah. Is that I love helping people. Yeah. I have a disability, but I don't let that stop me.